as to Michelle Birdsong, Eve, mother of all living, daughter of the sun. This is a photo of the architect of Earth. The same letters in Earth spell heart. H E A R T. He art. Here are. He art. That would be a song, right? To hear art is to listen to a song. Okay, Earth. The heart is the physical heaven, and it's, oh, let me begin again. This is a photo of the architect of Earth, the heart, the physical heaven, and it's also its treasurer, Jesus Christ, the Buddha, the being, Gurinder Singh Dillon, also known as G.S. Dillon. Um, the name of this video is, it's at, from the Bloomberg Channel, Jim Bianco, president and founder of Bianco Research. This is his um, opinion. Markets, the name of the video is the, the Fed's Cure Risk Being Worse Than the Disease by Jim Bianco, March 27, 2020. 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. These are excerpts from that opinion column. The Fed took unprecedented action to meet. I'll leave the uh, camera on the architect of the heaven on earth and the treasurer. So they took an unprecedented crisis. The Fed took unprecedented action to meet an unprecedented crisis. Is it dangerous? The economic debate of the day centers on whether the cure of an economic shutdown is worse than the disease of the virus. Similarly, we need to ask if the cure of the Federal Reserve getting so deeply into corporate bonds, asset-backed securities, commercial paper and exchange-traded funds is worse then the disease seizing financial markets. It may be. It's the alphabet soup of new programs that deserve special considerations as they could have profound long-term consequences for the functioning of the Fed and the allocation of capital in financial markets. Here are the acronym CPFE means Commercial Paper Funding Facility. You can go to this, Google this article and get the specific details of what these acronyms mean. PMCCF, TALF, SMCCF, MSBLP. To put it bluntly, the Fed doesn't allow isn't allowed to do any of this, any of this. The central bank is only allowed to purchase or lend against securities that have got guarantee, that have government guarantee. This includes treasury securities, agency mortgage, back securities and the debt issued by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. An argument can be made that can also include municipal securities, but nothing in the laundry list above. This is a laundry list above. Okay, they can't do that. So, how can they do this? The Fed will finance a special purpose vehicle, SPF, for each acronym to conduct these operations. The Treasury, using the Exchange Stabilization Fund, will make an equity investment. Some of this, I really don't know what they're talking about, but I get the, the gist of it. I hope you do too. If you're a guy, you probably understand it. In each SPV and be in a first loss position. 
What does this mean? In essence, the Treasury, not the Fed, is buying all the securities and backstopping of loans. The Fed is acting as a banker and providing financing. The Fed hired BlackRock, Inc. to purchase these securities and handle the administration of the SBVs on behalf of the owner, the Treasury. In other words, the federal government is nationalizing large swaths of the financial market. The Fed is providing the money to do it. BlackRock will be doing the trades. This scheme essentially merges the Fed and Treasury into one organization. So, meet your new Fed chairman, Donald J. Trump. In 2008, when something similar was done, it was on a smaller scale. Since few understood it, the Bush and Obama administrations ceded total control of those acronym programs to then Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke. He unwound them at the first available opportunity. But now, 12 years later, we have a much better understanding of how they work. And we have a president who has made it very clear how displeased he is that central bankers haven't used their considerable power to force the Dow Jones industrial average at least 10,000 points higher, something he has complained about many times before the pandemic hit. When the Fed was rightly alarmed by the current dysfunction in the fixed income markets, they felt they needed to act. This was the correct thought. But to get the authority to stabilize these, in quotes, private markets, central bankers needed the Treasury to agree to nationalize, to own them, so they could provide the funds to do it. In effect, the Fed is giving the Treasury access to its printing press. Note from Eve, does this mean the President of the United States of America can start paying on the cost, $30 subtillion dollars of the son, my father, father, as heir to the son? I hope so. The Treasury having access to the uh, Fed's printing press, in effect, they can make zeros on computers. That's what it means that, in the extreme, the administration would be free to use its control, not the Fed's control, of these SPVs to instruct the Fed to print money so it could buy securities and hand out loans in an effort to ramp financial markets higher going into the election. Note from Eve. If, given all the election fraud, if there is an election, why stop there, Bianco writes. Should Trump win re-election, if there is an election, he could try to use these SPVs to get those 10,000 Dow Jones points he feels the Fed has denied everyone. If these acronyms programs were abused, as I described, says Bianco. They might indeed force markets higher than valuation warrants, but it would come with a heavy price. Investors would be deprived of the necessary market signals that freely traded capital markets offer to aid in the efficient allocation of capital. Malinvestments would be rampant. It also could force private sector players to leave as the government's heavy hand makes operating in, in quotes, controlled markets uneconomic. This has already occurred in the U.S. federal funds market and the government bond market in Japan. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell needs to tread carefully, indeed to ensure his cure isn't worse than the disease. This column 
does not necessarily reflect the opinion of Bloomberg LP and its owners. Jim Bianco is the president and founder of Bianco Research, a provider of data-driven insights into the global economy and financial markets. He may have a stake in the areas he writes about. Okay, now top reactions. Scott B. wrote three hours ago. The Fed is giving, in quotes, the Treasury access to its printing process. Excuse me? The Fed is not part of the U.S. government and has no authority to print U.S. currency or set U.S. monetary policies. Those exact words are written in JFK being Kyle Casho, Executive Order Number 11110, June 4, 1963. In that order, JFK was going to return those actions to the Treasury. He was killed because of it. The Fed charges us interest to print our money, thus $15 trillion of U.S. debt is to is to the Fed is owed to the Fed U.S. Tread, wait a minute. Thus, fifteen trillion dollars of U.S. debt is owed to the Fed, and almost five hundred billion dollars in annual interest payments go to the Fed, which is owned by private persons and foreign governments. Why is Trump okay with running up the debt at the cost to the Fed's wallet? Because after he is re-elected, he is going to use JFK's own executive order to close the Fed. And with its closure, so erases that illegal debt. Note from Eve, the U.S. President, probably Will Smith, being John Hancock, first founder, to sign, and with a flourish, the Declaration of Independence, and being Seth, third and perfect son of King Adam and Mother Eve, and grandson of the Son, can transfer the Fed's $15 trillion debt and pay it to the Son, Eve, mother of all living, his daughter. Venus, goddess of love, as a payment to the creation creator's d debt of thirty trillion dollars. It should be to the creator's cost. The creator is in debt to us. We're in debt to him. Eve's daughter, who sent her the clue, the Bianco article, nevertheless argued that the son isn't due any cost because he's not a person, just a bunch of gases. A star, the same letters in a star spell as art. Eve says, the art of providing life, light, heat, and energy for food to the population on earth, heart, he art. His art shows he has a big heart. The um, people he created as his spirits, his spiritual beings, King Adam and Mother Eve, are living bodies of water. Human bodies are anywhere contain anywhere from 75% to 60% water. That he is burning radiation gases explains why Eve refers to the sun as her father, father, not close father, not in the same room father, the farther father, 93 million miles away. He stays so far away from her to protect her. 
Although from the time she Eve being Minnow being T. Michelle, Bert Anderson, now Birdsong, a child, begged and sobbed for her father to come and rescue her. She lived in Clarksville, Tennessee. The Apostle Paul, being Dr. Mike Murdoch, preached to her a few years back. He can get money to you anywhere you are. He, the son, came to take came to her many times these past few years. And just as President Trump being Gobind Singh, the tenth Sikh guru, removed his protective eyewear and looked directly at the eclipse of the sun, Timothy Birdsong looked point blank into the eye of light that is the sun during their meetings. <laughs> him during the time she met him in the sky. She's standing on the sidewalk at 8th Avenue and 17th Street in Chelsea, Manhattan, New York, looking up at him. Not chatty. He told her at different times, you're beautiful. You're true. I'm proud of you. You won. Do your best. Be strong. Be fearless. Near when he told her to stop looking at him in his radiant form, he told her, Tell me your hopes. Although she can't see him eye to eye anymore, he won't allow her to be blinded by his star shine. She can talk to him anytime she wants to. All she has to do is start talking to him. As Jesus Christ, Maraji Charan Singh, said to her in 1979, he hears, and she's learned he answers. Recently, she asked him if he is God. He said yes. St. Paul, being Mike Murdoch, once said to her, He is not a man that he would lie. Eve notes, it's a worldwide symphony. His energy, I write the songs that makes the whole world sing. Notes Eve, they follow my lead. I sense from him which way he wants me to go. T for talk and S for share. He wants me to talk and share. And to stay safe. Comments continued. Thomas, like Jesus Christ, Thomas the Apostle being Will Smith, being St. Thomas Aquinas, Aquinas, Aqua, I, in for enter, life, A as, as water. Okay. Will Smith being interviewed by Tavis Smiley explains the universe is water. It likes to get out of the way. The universe, being Eve, mother of all living, explains the way things are on her YouTube channels. Michelle Birdsong uploads and Mild Red Birdsong YouTube channel. Then the people pick up on her meanings, then talk about it as though it's their ideas. The cost of the energy, the universe, is $60 septillion. The president of the U.S., Seth, her son, Eve's son, has the authority, the right to transfer the Fed's illegal money to pay on the $60 trillion cost to Earth for the universe, being Eve, mother of all living, being Timothy Birdsong as also being the daughter of the son, his heir, Eve, mother of all living, is due thirty septillion dollars plus a sixty septillion dollars. Jesus Christ being Charon Singh, now being Gurinder Singh Dillon, said to T. Michelle in nineteen seventy nine or some time thereafter, why not want a lot of money so you can help a lot of people? Eve says the Fed gets busted. Timothy, obeying Jesus once, what is due her? 
a lot of money, ninety-seven dollars. Jesus Christ being Teron Singh, now being Govinda Singh Dillon said, you can never repay your mother, but you can make payments on her costs. Okay, so we'll do the rest of the comments in part two. Thank you for watching.